Well, well, well. What do we have here? <gasps> He's emerged. What's going on? You've risen from the ashes like the phoenix you are. <laughs> What's going on everybody and welcome back to another toy hunting adventure. We are here right now outside of good old bits and buttons and there's a special guest leading for us inside and yes very special guest who I'm happy to see so let's go inside. Oh well well what do we have here? <gasps> He's emerged. What's going on? You've risen from the ashes like the phoenix you are. <laughs> What's up, man? Not much, bro. We're enjoying you, all the new stuff. You, you see this, people? So now, you could stop asking me where he is. I'm right he, here. He's right here. <laughs> he's right here. I don't want any more private messages or DMs or any comments on my videos. He's right here. He stepped away for a while. Took a little break. Listen, we all need that every once in a while. Yeah. So. I have to work on myself. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm doing right now. So, but he's back. Back. He's back. Back on the hunt. So, we'll see what they... Oh, they got plunderlings. Look at these. I got a few of these. I like this guy's name. Feral Cheddar. I'm going to lie. There's a bunch of stuff that I want to pick up, but we're going to make two other stores today. So I know. I'm trying to pace myself. You know, it's my first day back. Yeah, you, 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 do, have, you do have to pace yourself. Because you're going you're gonna to go, you're gonna go hard real fast. You're going to go hard real fast before you know it. Yeah. See? ease myself back into it. See? Know? Like, look at that. I know you're already looking at that. Radio, radio control back to the future car. <laughs> what has he got in here? He's got anything good? It looks like he's got some gargoyle stuff. Ghostbusters. Yeah. We got some... Uh, yeah, we got to do the... Yeah. We got some G.I. Joe. We got Sergeant Slaughter. We got Fortnite, Snake Eyes. We got some graded pieces. Oh, that's what you need right there. Mm -hmm. If you want to make a splash right away. <laughs> the electronic Millennium Falcon. <laughs> we got some three and three quarter stuff going on. There's some black series. We'll get to that in a minute. Here's some Marvel. What do we got here? We got some kind of Batman and Robin stuff. Got Marvel Legends. Buy one, get one free on these three and three quarter figures. That's not a bad deal. Here's some uh, Marvel Legends, Gambit, Spider Man. I got the Craven. Uh, Craven looks cool. What else we got? Some more Marvel stuff out. We got there's the Blade, there's the Daredevil. I kind of almost want to get get him too. I like that Daredevil. It's kind of cool. But I do have that blade. I actually picked up that blade at um, Fye. But we'll we'll show that at another time. Uh, what do we got? Spider Man, West Coast Avengers, Wolverine. Here's some of the wrestling stuff. Uh, anything that I need. Anything that I need, I don't see. Oh, he's got some chases up there. Uh, let's see. Got some ultimates. Some AEW stuff. Oh, we got. Oh, he's got the Brocks for the Virgil Build a Figure Wave. He's got Brett. He's got Rick Steiner. I need the gene I need the mean gene build a figure wave. I still need the two other ones from that. Uh, what do we got in the glass case? There's the mail away Hogan. We've got Earthquake and Typhoon. There's some Hasbro's. Shawn Michael statue. Let's see what else we got. Here's some wall of vintage. Oh, there's some Street Fighter, some Indiana Jones. I still need the damn hypnotized Indiana Jones, and I can't find him anywhere. 
I know, I know. Listen, I know I can easily go online and buy it online, but that takes all the fun out of it. it takes all the fun out of it. Here's some Super Mario, uh, Simpsons. What else do we got? Uh, I got Dick Tracy, Double Dragon. Anything good in here? We got a bunch of Jurassic Park stuff. And we got some Chuck Norris Karate Commando on card. Ooh. Got the Police Academy Cruiser. There's a bunch of miscellaneous stuff down there. Pops. What else do we got? We got Batman and DC stuff over here. We got King Shark. We got Penguin, Keaton, Batman. A bunch of McFarlane stuff. Here's the Batwing. The 89 Batwing. Oh, let's see. What else have we got? Got some Mythic Legions, some Cosmic Legions. We got some Godzilla stuff going on. It's Godzilla! That looks awfully familiar, doesn't it, Ron? <laughs> I don't know how, how Dom got it, but... Yeah, yeah, what is it? Ron picked that up when we were at the Toilana last year. Here's a glass case with some builder figures and some other miscellaneous stuff. Uh, yeah. Yeah. The wall of anime. Oh, that's cool. Astro Boy. Uh, let's see what's going on. Over here. Here's the. Uh, oh! It's an inception moment. I'm inside you and you're inside me. It's been a long time since that happens. I know, right? <laughs> I know Mike's looking at some of these vehicles. Oh, that's a new one, Sabine Wren. He's got the wall of three and three quarters stuff over here. What's in the glass case? Anything interesting in the glass case? That is the million dollar question. Oh, he needs something. We got a live action purchase. <laughs> I need to creep by you, good sir, because I need to get to the case of Hot Toys. So we got Luke and the Sideshow R2. We got Ray. A bunch of Star Wars. We got some Stranger Things and some horror. There's a Clint Eastwood down there, and there's Robocop 3. I'm kind of eyeing Robocop 3 at the moment. I don't know if I'm going to pull the trigger or not, but I kind of want RoboCop 3. <laughs> what has he got there? Green Goblin. He's got Spider-Gwen. He's got a few miscellaneous ones. Um, yeah, all right. Let's keep looking around. Got some Muppet action going on over here. Muppets! Muppets! Oh, let's see. Here's the uh, case of turtle stuff going on. Uh, let's see. Excuse me, sorry. Oh, you're good. You're good. Here's that samurai animals. We got some Mausers up there. We got all kinds. Oh, the guy. He's got the fig arts turtles in there. That's cool. And he's got Donatello, Raphael. He's got the giant size, some of the giant size ones. He's got Krang. He's got some of the, the new Last Ronin ones that came in. He's got the BST. Uh, let's see. He's got a whole bunch of the giant mutations. He's got a Mondo Leonardo up there. And some Transformers that are in the case. Pretty cool stuff. All right, I'm going to continue to look around, and if I find anything, I will let you know. Yeah, and then uh, I think me and Mike are going to hightail it. I don't know where we're going to go next, but we're going to go somewhere. We're going to continue on this hunt. It's good to have Mike back. It's good to have him back. It's good to good to be around him again. I missed him. Um, 
All right. One moment. All right, guys, we're here right now outside of Tate's. We haven't been here in a hot minute, so we're going to see what they got. Look at this guy. Look how look how slim look how slim you look. You're, you're you're like you're like slender OG geek. <laughs> tiny geek. You're tiny geek. So, all right, we're gonna go into Tate's and see what they got. Here in the Star Wars section right now, where we always like to start. Got some Lucy's. Got some gentle giant busts going on. Anything interesting in the cases? I see some car. Oh, there is the C3PO Dick Error card. <laughs> it's always fun to see. I love seeing these, these the vintage glasses. That's always cool. Got Jabba, we got some figures down there. We got some of the Bandai Samurai figures that Mike actually liked. Uh, oh, there's a carbonized Mando down there. That's cool. Uh, here, some other miscellaneous stuff and got some mini busts and some commemorative plates. Uh, anything interesting that catches the eye? Not really. Oh, there he is right there. He's filming. Look at him. See? It's fun to see him back in his natural habitat. I yeah, I know. Well, this is the newest one that just came out. The, uh, the Paz. The Paz Vizsla. What else do they got? They got a whole bunch of them over here, too. They got all kinds of hot toys going on. We got some statues going on in here, and then they got the this case just loaded with Star Wars hot toys. Uh, there's that Cad Bane. That Cad Bane looks dope. That Cad Bane actually looks freaking pretty cool. A lot of speeder bikes and all that stuff. Yeah. We got C3PO. Oh, there's the there's the Paz Vizsla. That's a chunky. That's a be that's a big beefy boy right there. Uh oh. See that big beefy boy right there? I got the what is that? The Grand Inquisitor. Yeah, that's yeah. They all kinds of there's a little Gogu wrapped up in there and some little creature. So all right. And they got some more. Oh, they got the uh, Keaton PVC Batman statue. Uh, here's some McFarlane stuff. Nothing that really is piquing my interest, which kind of hurts because, you know, always happens. It's like whenever I never have money, there's stuff I want. And now that I have money, there's nothing that I want. You got the Iron Patriot, Hulkbuster. There's more DC stuff. Over here, they got the Mezco Superman. Uh, yeah, nothing. Nothing's like, oh my god, I gotta have it. There's some Batman stuff. That's cool. They got the. Um... Oh, is that what that is? Oh, that's the Beast Kingdom Peacemaker figure. That actually looks kind of cool. Damn, that John Cena portrait's actually pretty solid. That's cool. How many points of articulation? It's got 20 points of articulation on it. That's pretty cool. There's a Bruce Wayne Mayfex. They got Batman. Keaton Batman. They got the uh, Peacemaker Hot Toy. Uh, let's see. I don't even know what half this stuff is, to be honest with you. I think they got some Marvel stuff over here. Here's some Marvel Legends. There's Gambit, Moon Knight. Uh, let's see. A whole bunch of the Marvel Selects. Got a whole bunch of Hot Toys over here. Oh, let's see what's over here. Uh, let's see. Here's some more. Um, we got some Lucy's. That's always fun. It's always fun to see Lucy's. Uh, Stanley. Yeah. Woo. Nothing. Uh, oh, more commemorative plates. So, 
All right, uh, let me go check to see what's going on with Mikey Mike, and I'll be back in a second. All right, so we're here right now. Here's some Transformers going on. Oh, that's cool. Then we got the, uh, I believe it's a Rodimus. That's dope. You got the touch. You got the power. Singing Transformers, man, because it's Rodimus Prime. Prime. Yeah, from the Transformers movie, the kid, the, the cartoon movie. Never saw it. Oh, you son of a bee. <laughs> Shame this man. Oh, Whoa. shit. I think I just I blew. I thought you were making a Transformers sound effect. I think, no, I think <laughs> I just blew my back out. I think I just blew my back out. That's what just really happened. Uh, let's see, we got some Transformers over here. Damn, we got some big ass Transformers over here. What the fuck is that thing? That thing looks dope as shit. Oh, there's the Rodimus out of the box. That does look fucking dope. Shit. Damn, that does look fucking cool. We got indie, bunch of indie stuff. There's some Ecto-1s. Horsies! We got a whole bunch of cops. Cop stuff, which is crazy. We got some uh, Mo2 and G.I. Joe stuff going on. Here's some more G.I. Joe. Some more G.I. Joe. Everywhere you go, there's G.I. Joe. And here's some Indiana Jones stuff. What is it? Is it all Marion Ravenwood? Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. The Marty on the hoverboard. Doc. Doc and Marty. This is cool. The uh, Pee Wee and, uh, and Terry. Like that. Oh, here, here you are, old friend. Here's the hot toy case, which they've changed. Which this is a nice display case. I like this. I like that classic comic war machine. It's pretty cool. And then they got the Mark One. There's a Venom and the Carnage down there. And that Tony Stark one's dope. Uh, that mechanized Deadpool. Yeah, the Mark One. Yeah, that thing is sick. I wanted this so bad. See, I never got it. See, I like this. I like the old school classic, classic War Machine. That looks cool. I've had almost got everything in this case. Hydro Stopper. Yeah, I think between the two of I think between the two of us, it's safe to say we've had almost everything in this oh, case. Oh yeah, especially Marvel. I mean, uh, except for the stuff that just came out. Oh, there's the Green Goblin. Oh, that's cool. Damn, look at that portrait. That William Defoe portrait, sick. That's cool, and the glider is fucking badass. And I got that Iron Strange concept. I got the uh, Andrew Garfield Spider Man. I got Electro. They got oh, the Doc Ock. is cool. The tentacles on Doc Ock look sick. Uh, Gilgamesh. Gilgamesh. Thanos down there. More Thanos. Vision. What's he got? Oh, there's 181. Damn, they want six thousand dollars for that 7.0. Got X-Men signed Jim Lee and Scott Williams. That's cool. Ah, oh, intra yeah, the black suit. Nice. Damn, 350 for that. Oh, and there's the Secret Wars one back there. That's cool. First appearance of Beta Ray. There's some busts, some statues. Ah, uh, the Frog of Thunder. That that's cool. That is cool. It's Alligator Loki. Ghost Rider is pretty cool. Uh, Modok. King Shark. Dark Knight. Cyborg. Bat Batfleck. Uh, there's a uh, Del Kilmer Batman. There's Robin with that banana hammock. Look at that package. <laughs> I want. The, I, I kind of want this, the Peacemaker, because it's John Cena. I just see a uh, eagle. Yeah, it's eagle. It's eagleless. Yeah, it's. Oh, you can't see him. That's can't right. Look at you catching up on your wrestling stuff. I'm I so. Watch. I'm I so proud of I you. Watch you. I don't watch wrestling. <laughs> so proud of you. There's the uh, the Nightmare Batman, which is cool. I wish they would sell that one separately rather than the two pack. And then we got a whole bunch of 
other miscellaneous DC stuff. Oh, someone's got the Lego, the Lego tumbler down there, fully built. We want $125 for that, fully assembled. Damn, it is so freaking loud. We're not deaf, lady. We're not deaf. Um, there's one more thing I want to show up front that's got figures, so people are standing there, so just give me one second. My Star Wars stuff that I got over here. Uh, got some three and three quarters. We got Power Rangers. We got E.T. Yeah. Phone home, Mike. Phone home. Finger me, Mike. Touch my finger, Mike. What did he finger you? He's got the finger. I guess. I don't know. Finger, Mike. <laughs> uh, let's see. We got the Kingpin statue, some gremlins, creature from the Black Lagoon, the thing. We got some Marvel Legends. This is a dope one. I actually picked him up. I picked him up last week. Yeah. Got uh, some of the new Infinity Saga Marvel Legends, which is cool. Uh-huh. R5 D4. Oh, are you a are you a droid? Are you a droid man? Oh, Mandalorian. I'm trying to get them all. You all about that droid life? That's cool. That Mr. Fantastic actually looks pretty cool. Oh, and they got the uh, the Iron Man too. That's cool. So, all right. I think that's safe to say that's going to wrap it up. So, um, we're going to do one more quick pass through off camera. Just make sure we didn't forget anything. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. All right, guys, so we're here right now outside of a new store called Plastic Universe Toys and Collectibles. This is actually a friend of OG's that opened up this store. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go inside and see what they got. Buy some, uh, I don't know, but he, he collects a lot of weird stuff, I'm not gonna lie. A lot, of, a lot of stuff from like other countries and like graded stuff, so I'm excited to see what he has. I just don't know if we're gonna find anything. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna come across I mean, some gonna, obscure we're stuff. Try. We're gonna try. Yeah, we'll, we'll, find we'll, we'll, we'll see. All right, I'm excited. Let's go inside. Plastic Universe Toys and Collectibles. We're here inside the store right now, and it is a pretty big store from what you can tell. Um, Mike's over there filming, talking to Guillermo, who's the owner of the store. He also has a YouTube channel. You should check it out. I think it's a. Uh, I think it's plastic crack. Either way, I'll put the link in the description below. So when you walk in, you get smacked right in the face with a whole bunch of vintage Spawn stuff, which is really cool. They've got this whole wall that stretches all the way down to the end. It's all three and three quarter stuff, which is cool. Stuff ranging from Star Wars to Motu, uh, G.I. Joe. Uh, what else do we got? Uh, let's see. Yeah, we have some Motu over here. Here's some more Motu three and three quarter. We got some wrestling stuff. We got some basics. Here's some reaction Super Seven. Oh, there's talking Christmas Yoda. Uh, we got some aliens. Got some lucha. Some more Spawn stuff. He's got cases and cases full of graded stuff, which we'll dive into. And again, more Spawn stuff. More McFarlane stuff. And then we get a little bit of starting lineup stuff. We get more spawn stuff. We got some Care Bears. Here's some more current stuff, which is Marvel Legends and some Transformers. We got some Turtles, some NECA stuff. Oh, that's cool. We got a Mega Bloks uh, turtle right there. So here's some Turtles. Again, here's some greatest stuff. Look at that original VHS Ninja Turtles the movie. What else do we got? Here's some. G.I. Joe stuff. We got more McFarlane stuff. Here's some Motu. Uh, here's some Star Wars. We got some Black Series. Over here, some three and three quarter stuff. Here's some more Spawn stuff. This store is pretty well loaded with Spawn stuff. We got some vehicles going along the top over there. Uh, he's got some regular DC Multiverse McFarlane stuff over there. In these cases are all G.I. Joe and Star Wars. And he's got some definitely some cool, cool stuff. And he's got G.I. Joe's from other countries, which we know my man Jeff Slap Happy in it. is definitely going to slap his nutsack all over that stuff. So, And he's talking, talking to Mike. And then he's got some other miscellaneous stuff. Here he's got some Cobra Hisses, 
Uh, he does have some AEW. He's got some wrestling. He's got a hot toy back there. A bunch of Star Wars stuff. Some of the play sets in the ships, which is really cool. You know, and then in these cases, he's got G.I. Joe figures. He's got some graded, graded stuff over there. Look at that. They got a merman in a bag, which is cool. We got some more G.I. Joe stuff here. We have a prototype, which is kind of cool. A prototype stormtrooper. Prototype test shot. Prototype test shot. Look at all this stuff. That's cool. Let's see. That's cool. That's cool stuff to see. We got more prototype stuff. Oh, that's cool. We got a Django Fett prototype. That's cool. Got a whole bunch of graded stuff over here. Got some Boba Fett's in the back. R2. Got Bit Fortuna. Got some coins. So, I mean, there is a little bit of everything. Everything here for everybody. And here's some turtle stuff over here. He's also got some Super 7s in there. He's got some loose turtles. I think these are complete. Or these are just loose. He's got a, he's got a Roman Reigns up there. He's got some loose turtles. Got some more turtle stuff over here. That's cool. He's got Ecto-1 down there. And all kinds of graded pieces, which is really cool. Oh yeah, this is a Venezuelan Skeletor. That's that's graded. That's pretty cool. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, that is cool. And the ones below, the reactions are either quality control samples. Yeah. That's why I've got them graded because I came from the source. And if you haven't already, here's Guillermo. He's the owner of this fine establishment. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What is, is your, your YouTube channel is Plastic Crack, right? Universe. Oh, Plastic, Plastic Universe. Plastic Crack is on Amazon. It's okay. It's Doku series. Ah, okay. So. Yeah, but on YouTube you can find this. Okay. And the, the link will be in down below for his YouTube channel, so check it out. And the link will also be in the description for the Instagram for the store, so you can awesome. follow the store along the journey. Awesome, so. awesome. So, and I know you were over here telling Mike about all these... Uh, these GI Joes, these foreign GI Joes. Joes eh? I love that. I love that. Like Tunnel Rat, he didn't look like that. So phone school, and to the best of my knowledge, it was supposed to look like the shirt. It's supposed yeah. to be green in the domestic run, but apparently they, they, there was a shortage of that specific plastic. So yeah. they just decided to use whatever. Right. And then someone said, "Well, he doesn't look like the the art." So they just went ahead and changed the huh? R as well. So there you go. That's what makes these type of things um, yeah. so interesting. No, it's always cool to see stuff from other countries. Just look, what do you do when you when you get the whole line? That's, that's no, the question. You're right. You start getting the weird stuff. The yeah, the obscure, the, the obscure stuff. Yeah, the yeah, stuff that's hard hard stuff. to find. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Listen, if I could find, I mean, listen, there's a long time ago where I wanted to find um, some prototypes of some wrestling figures. But, I mean, some of those are just... Matt like, Cardona beat you to it. Huh? Matt. Yeah, Matt, yeah, Matt beat me. Matt, Matt, Matt beats everybody to everything. Yeah. So, but I, I look for a specific... You get, like, hints, you get, like, hints of yeah. about wrestling See, prototypes and you go there and yeah. there's, like, a little paper that says Matt was here. <laughs> yeah, I... I uh, I'm, I look for, for just for one specific guy. I'm a huge CM Punk guy. Oh. So anything CM Punk I can get my oh, hands yeah. on, that's... Oh, yeah, yeah that, that's how I roll. Look at, look at him over there. Look at him over there. It's nice to see him back in his element and come out of hiding. See, look at him. He's, he's, look at him go. Look at him go. It's like he never missed a beat. So, all right, we're going to continue to look around. Hang tight to the graded stuff. I mean, he's got cases of graded stuff, which is really cool. He's got an Ewok village down there. Again, graded foreign Joes. Um, he's got card backs, which is really cool. So, I mean, it, it, it's cool to see all this stuff, especially graded, so you know the stuff is going to be preserved. We got a, a B Wing that's graded. We've got a Dig of the playset. I mean, it's, it is really cool. This turtle tank is really cool. And there's Yoda again going off. So, he's got a Boba Fett down there in a white suit. I think Mike has those. Um,. This is cool, we got a, a Shogun. So, yeah, this stuff's cool, man. I mean, it's always cool, again, to see stuff graded and everything. 
Oh, this is cool. Lucha, Lucha Fuerte for all you wrestling fans. He's got this. This thing's graded. That's pretty badass. So, yeah, again, guys, it's a wall of stuff. Endless spawn stuff, other miscellaneous stuff. So, if you guys are in the Sunrise area, definitely swing by, check it out. Um, it's a cool store they just opened, I'm sure. It's only going to get better as time goes on, and they're going to get all kinds of different product in and things like that. So, yeah, so I'm going to take my time now, look around, see if there's anything I want, and uh, yeah, we'll be back in a minute. So, we're leaving Plastic Universe. Cool store. Make sure you check it out. Um, leave the links in the description below for the YouTube channel and the store IG so you can follow them. It was fun being back on the hunt with you. Missed you buddy. I missed you too, man. You know what? You know. You know it's so hot. Wow, that's I, a no, treat. No, 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 no. no. Oh, wow, keep going. <laughs> keep going. It's, it's, it's so hard to say goodbye to my OG geek. Yeah. So beautiful. <laughs> Merry Christmas, everybody. You got a gift. <laughs> so, all right. We're going to wrap it up with, with OG. Um, again, it was great seeing him. The link will be in the description below for his Instagram and his YouTube. Make sure you check him out. He's back, folks. So stop DMing me. Stop asking me where he's at. There he is. All right? We're done. All right. I got to get home. Um, I didn't really pick anything up on this hunt, but I did pick some other stuff up that I'll show you when I get home. And, uh, yeah, we'll go from there. What's going on everybody and we are back home so I had such a blast today getting to hang out with Mike it's been forever since I seen him we do talk all the time but I just you know we haven't seen each other schedules conflicting you know he was dealing with stuff I'm dealing with stuff so but it's good to have Mike back it's good to see him filming and we're gonna pick up right where we left off with all the fun that we've always had so stick around for that stuff other than that, um, it was cool going to Bits. Always a pleasure going to Bits and seeing my friends over there. Um, like to see the new display cases and new setup that they have going on at Tate's. That was pretty cool. And then we got to go visit a new store, Plastic Universe, um, Guillermo. Very cool store. He's just getting started. He's only been open for a week. Um, he's over by Sawgrass Mall and Sunrise. If you guys are local and you're watching this, go check him out. The link will be in the description below for his YouTube channel and where the store is so you can go ahead and follow them on Instagram and whenever they post when they get new stuff in. Same thing as Bits and Buttons. Their stuff will be down in the description below as always is too. And the description for Mike and his Instagram as well. Other than that, I did not pick anything up on this hunt. Um, you know, I've been running around, Christmas shopping, all that other stuff. So I've been picking up stuff here and there and haven't really had my camera on me. So let's start with some of the stuff I did get. So we did get the two-pack now, the Coliseum Classic of Roddy Piper and George the Animal Steel to go along in my Ultimate Collection. So glad we got that in. Then I also got... The two last um, Ghostbusters that I need, the Glow in the Dark Slimed Edition, we got Winston and we got Venkman. So I also have the whole set now, which is awesome, which I will get those on display and they will go in my 80s action comedy, I guess 80s, 90s action shelf because, you know, again, Ghostbusters was a part of my childhood. So we got that. Then we also got this new Mafex in. We got John Wick Chapter 2. So, again, you guys know I'm a big action movie guy, and I love all the John Wicks. I think they're great movies. So what better way to celebrate that than getting it in action figure form? And that's what we did. So can't wait to open this up. Might do a review on the channel. I know it's an older one, but I like opening stuff up, and I like doing reviews on this stuff. And again, it's whenever I get around to it. Now, most of you saw already that I posted this on Instagram. I actually found the blade in FYE. Out of all places, I was in the mall Christmas shopping, and I saw it in the window, and I was like, oh, let's go take a look. So, pretty cool there. I think this is going to be Probably one of the more difficult ones to find in the line because I feel that he is such a underrated character, but also popular at the same time. And it's cool to have a blade figure. Um, I seen a few people customize this to actually make it look like the Wesley Snipes version. So that'd be kind of cool. But yeah, we got blade. And then last but not least, I again in the mall walking past GameStop. Out of all places, we found that Andrew Garfield just chilling chilling so all we need now is tom holland we've already got toby and now we've got andrew garfield so we need that for the set 
And yeah, guys, that's going to wrap up uh, this hunt. Again, it was great getting to hang out with Mike. Cool going to see a new store. And always getting to see our friends at Bits and Buttons. So, um, yeah, guys, other than that, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and all that other good stuff. And I'll see you guys on the next time.